I'm Cynthia, the manager of this Target. I'd like to welcome you to this afternoon's letting go of entitlement meeting. You three are all new here. We're gonna go through some basic introductions after I recite the preamble. Wipe them. Karen's Anonymous is a fellowship What's going of on here? This is absolutely unacceptable. I have my lawyer on speed dial. He and Trump are great pals. This is canceled. Yeah, yeah. canceled. Canceled. All right. Karen's Anonymous is a fellowship of female identifying humans who share their compassion, love, and kindness with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from using their privilege for personal gain. I hate that word. The only requirement for membership is a desire to get it the fuck together. Our primary purpose is to be decent. I am decent. To fellow human beings and mind our own damn business. What the fuck? Uh, Do you know who I am? Can I, I have a cookie to sale? the manager? I don't understand I need. what I'm doing. <laughs> the manager. The okay. Go I have a lot of in five hours in the white community. You okay. Can. Oof. You white girls got a long way to go. We're gonna start with some basic introductions and some self-evaluation. The sooner we get to the bottom of your behavior, the sooner we become the change we seek. The first step is admitting that you have a problem. The second step is me letting you out into the world as civilized human being. Fine, I'll play your little game. Then I'll leave you a scathing review on Yelp. <clears throat> I'm Monica. And I guess I'm what you would call a Karen. Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. I don't even understand what I'm doing here, okay? Uh, they asked me to wear a mask, and I refused, obviously, because COVID is so last month. Plus, as an American, I have freedom of speech, and wearing a mask infringes on my right to use facial expressions. I asked for a manager and got sent here. This is illegal detainment. Thank you, Monica. Actually, as the manager of this Target, my employees followed protocol perfectly. Who's next? Actually, me. I really resent you for holding me hostage, lady. What happened to women supporting women? And why do you just assume that I'm entitled? Is it my $40,000 Rolex? For starters, you walked into the store screaming all lives matter for no apparent reason. Yeah, because they do. You know the rainbow flags in the parking lot? They really irked me. This is America. We wave American flags. Oh, and I'm Whitney. If you guys call me Karen, I will sue you. Oh my God. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Whitney, have you not left your house in the last 50 years? The rainbow flag represents the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah. Well, who's going to fight for their freedoms? Huh. That's a great insight. Your sense of compassion is starting to show. I'm, I'm starting to experience a, a, a tingly sensation in my chest. What is this? I want to cry and sing and punch something at the same time. What's happening to me? That would be your heart. Yeah, look at that. It's actually doing something other than pumping blood into the rest of your body. And last but not least, why did you feel the need to call the cops on a black man for merely standing next to you in the store? Because I didn't appreciate the way he said, excuse me. You tell him. Whoa, I think he was just trying to be polite. <laughs> Yes, I got one. All right, who's next? What just happened? Uh, me. I just want to say that this whole Karen moment is really unjust and it's unfair. Like, not all Karens are bad Karens. I'm a Karen. Is that okay? Great work. The first step is admitting you have a problem. What's your name, sister? Karen! Oh, ease up, lady. We all dropped our real names. My lawyer can protect you if that's what you're worried about. No, really! My name is Karen! Don't you see? 
All I do is get made fun of. This is who I am.